Did you know that our planet is facing some huge challenges? Climate change is causing rising waters, recurring storms and erosion, leading to ecological disasters. Coastal cities and countries are especially vulnerable to these threats. To survive, they need strong protective measures. From New York to Japan, and from Venice to the Netherlands, there are ongoing billion-dollar projects aimed at addressing these issues. Click the subscribe button and like this video to support our efforts to explore these crucial projects that might just save the world. Anti-Flood Wall While New York City is famous for its tall buildings and stunning architecture, it faces a constant threat from water along the eastern coast of the United States. The city often deals with severe weather like hurricanes and storms that flood many neighborhoods. Being at the meeting point of the Hudson River, the East River, and the Atlantic Ocean makes it even more vulnerable to rising water levels and sudden floods. In recent years, major floods, like those caused by Hurricane Sandy in 2012, have wreaked havoc, especially in Manhattan. This disaster resulted in chaos and claimed the lives of 44 people, causing nearly $19 billion in property damage. After Hurricane Sandy, authorities realized the urgent need to address this issue and started large-scale infrastructure projects. One of these projects is a massive flood wall along the southeastern edge of Manhattan, bordering the East River. This wall, stretching over 4 kilometers and buried more than 35 meters deep, will rise over 3 meters above the water's surface. Made of strong concrete, it can expand as needed to cope with rising sea levels. It's expected to be ready around 2026, with a cost of over $1 billion. To make up for the lost green spaces during construction, the city plans to create a new elevated park. Additionally, there are plans to upgrade the underground sewage and wastewater systems to better handle these challenges. Most project, the problem of rising waters is a new and has been affecting certain cities for a long time. Venice, built mostly on stilts in the Adriatic Sea's lagoon, faces this challenge constantly. Water is a big part of Venice's history, and its success as a city was mostly because of its strong connection to the sea. But Venice is in danger because of high tides, especially between autumn and spring. These high tides, known as Aqua Alta, are getting worse. Since 2009, they've been happening more often and causing more damage. In November 2019, Venice saw its worst flooding in 50 years, with most of the city underwater. To protect the city, Venice has spent billions of euros on the Moasi project. This project involves building 78 movable barriers around the city to create a barrier between the sea and the lagoon. The goal is to stop high tides from flooding the lower parts of the city, which are below sea level. Construction on the Moasi project started in 2003, but it has faced delays, partly because of corruption scandals. Despite these challenges, parts of the project were tested in 2020 during a high tide, and they worked well, keeping most of Venice safe. Delta Project To deal with the constant threat of flooding, some countries invest a lot of money in large-scale projects. In the Netherlands, this has been a challenge for a long time. The country is mostly below sea level, so people there have become experts at managing water to stay safe. Without the coastal dikes, about two-thirds of the Netherlands would be underwater. They also reclaim land from water to make more space. These reclaimed areas, called polders, make up a big part of the country. The Netherlands has over 22,500 kilometers of dikes, even longer than the Great Wall of China. But even with all these defenses, they faced a huge flood in 1953 that killed over 1,800 people. After that, they started the Delta Project, the world's biggest defense against rising waters. It includes building about 15 dams. The Mace-Lankering flood barrier is one of the main parts of this project. It has two big gates that close during storms to stop the sea from flooding the canal that connects Rotterdam to the North Sea. But the risk of flooding isn't just along the coast. The rivers in the Netherlands, like the Scheldt, Meuse, and Rhine, also pose a threat especially with global warming causing sea levels to rise. The government is planning to invest even more money, about 20 billion euros, to strengthen the Delta project and come up with new ideas like floating farms to provide shelter during floods. Giant sea walls around the world, more places are building walls to protect against the dangers of climate change. 
in Japan, they're constructing really tall barriers, up to 10 to 15 meters high, along the northeast coast of the main island. They started building these walls in 2011, right after a terrible earthquake and tsunami hit, causing a lot of destruction and loss of life. The tsunami even caused a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima power plant. Before this disaster, there were already 10-meter-high walls, but they didn't do much against the tsunami. So Japan decided to build stronger and taller walls, using reinforced concrete, along 450 kilometers of coastline. These walls are meant to be as tall as 15 meters in some places. While these walls seem impressive, it's hard to say how effective they'll be if another huge wave hits, like the 22-meter high one in 2011. Dealing with this big problem is tough, and each country has to find its own solution. Some architects are coming up with creative ideas, like Oceanix, a project for floating cities. These projects are expensive though, and not every country can afford them. But with rising water levels around the world, we need to find solutions fast. What do you think about these big projects to save the world? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.